Monday. It's Tuesday, not Monday. My bad. So I told you guys this yesterday on Facebook, but I was working all day yesterday and then I had an 8 a.m. Skype meeting with my thesis advisor this morning. So I basically spent all last night preparing for that. Sort of, I kind of fell asleep while I was reading things. Oops! This week we are talking about family traditions because of Thanksgiving. So before somebody actually suggested a topic, I was thinking about making a video about things that we're thankful for. And then it occurred to me that it was a little bit odd to be making a video that was focused on like American Thanksgiving when only two of us are Americans. And so then I was gonna maybe talk about that, like ask you guys to what degree cultural images of American Thanksgiving is pervasive for you in your respective contexts. Last year Thanksgiving was kind of a blur for me because of my brother being arrested in a foreign country. I basically spent that entire week holed up in my room refreshing news stories and occasionally being interviewed for news stories. But because I go to an American school, they do a big like AUP Thanksgiving dinner thing. And it was announced that he was gonna be released like right before I left to go to this meal. So I like exploded Twitter thanking the universe for really mundane, silly things because I was so happy. And then right around the time I finished eating, it turned out that maybe he wasn't gonna be released. And the whole like roller coaster that was my week continued. I just got lost on a whole little side tangent thing. Point is, aside from that dinner, classes and the schedule and everything went on as normal that week. In fact, this morning I made the mistake of telling my professor to enjoy the shortened week and then he had to remind me that they don't do that. <laughs> also, he's Australian and doesn't care about American Thanksgiving regardless. Anyway, I found it really interesting that Gael was the one who mentioned Thanksgiving in suggesting a topic. Talking about family traditions, my family is coming here to LA for Thanksgiving because I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to work over the weekend. In fact, I'm still not sure if I'm supposed to work over the weekend because I forgot to call my boss this morning. And last Thanksgiving, we children were scattered on four different continents. One of us, you know, being arrested. My older brother was actually talking about paying to fly me to Egypt with him if things didn't resolve themselves so that we could I don't really know what we were gonna do. Being in France and Afghanistan, we were the closest ones to him. But my family tends to be pretty scattered and the holidays are really awesome because it's like a guaranteed time for us all to come together. With kind of the exception of Thanksgiving. Two years ago, my older brother spent Thanksgiving in Ireland with a girlfriend. I think I flew home for Thanksgiving like once in college. So it's been kind of a hit or miss holiday for us. It's probably my favorite in terms of the food, mostly because I like turkey and I really hate ham. That's not an important thing. My older brother was just making fun of me for this actually because before meals I am usually like lobbying against ham at basically all costs. I accept ham at Easter for the sake of tradition like Easter ham is a thing so I'm like okay fine we can do this but at Christmas I'm like listen we did our family ham this year you can't subject me to ham twice a year so we do like a beef like a roast beef thing instead. Sorry, I'm taking this tradition conversation in a really weird direction. I'm probably gonna have to cut most of this out because it doesn't make any sense. Can we bring this up again in a few weeks around Christmas? I'll have more things to say about family traditions around Christmas. But yeah, this is our topic. So I look forward to hearing about all of your family traditions and stuff. Okay? Okay. So it's been basically- 